welcome to the Coal Collective for our Boulder Big Ride with Timmy Duggan and Craig Lewis. Uh, 2,284 meters. Timmy, he was content on trying to beat a Strava KOM. He was like, dude, anyone come here for a nice ride? It's like smashing it up with two X Pros. Anyway, that's pretty nice. Look at that. Oh. Hit the gravel so I feel all right now. Feel at home again. Yeah, thanks for that. Remind me not to invite this man on a ride again. I just shake the cage and there I go. Oh, I haven't had heartburn like that for a long time. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, finally, just about caught my breath. Overlooking Gross Dam Reservoir. Timmy D hopefully hasn't got any more Strava KOMs lined up, although. I'm pretty sure. Uphill ones. <laughs> Only the uphill ones. I said no, no more uphill ones. No more uphill ones. Maybe we can find a downhill one. He's a bit of a, I'm sure he's a dark, uh, a dark fox still. You know, he may be uh, not racing professionally anymore, but I think he's still got that, that killer instinct. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try and see how long I can hang on for. Ready to rock?
Just take well, the nice back. thing is when you go uh, like towards Netherlands, there's a lot of different roads back to Boulder that you can you can add an extra loop on, 20 miles. You can cut straight yeah, through. Yeah, there's like, like is it Canyon? Yeah, Peak to Peak and 36. Yeah. Yeah, and you're like, you've got all these different routes which you can go canyons, sunshine, or is it yeah. Sugarloaf? Yeah, it was like, I was just looking on the map going, well, I don't know, what, yeah. what do I do, you so know? If you come up this way, then you get to peak to peak, and then to loop it back down, yeah, yeah you yeah, have yeah. like five different options. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can go all the way to Estes Park and loop it back that way. Just over 20 miles in, started a nice gradient of 12%. What's this, twin spruce? Twin spruce. Twin spruce, climbs about, what, four or five miles? Four or five miles, yeah. I think we're gonna to turn to dirt after that. We've got, uh, just to show you how much you can climb in such a compact route, I've got 1,500 meters of elevation already, translates to over 4,000 feet. So we've only done 20, 20 miles, so. <laughs> You bung in a 50, 60, 70 mile ride, you can have some serious climbing in your legs. So Marcus always says, hey Mike, do some audio. When it's in double figures, definitely double figures. Normally about 14%. And we're at 2,600 meters. So another 150 meters, we'll be at the top of the Stelvio. <laughs> it's only about, 75 degrees we all decided to wear black kit as well smart thinking that got sweat dripping down on the inside of my lenses a lot of people unfortunately were kind of turned away by the dirt well people don't realize if you ride the dirt just fine this is like when you drive Yeah. The dirt requires a little more attention, but you don't have the cars. Just coming up to 27 miles in, got a uh, Bit of a rest stop, which is nice. Um, we've actually got, just check it out. Yeah, nearly 2,000 meters of climbing already. So coming up for 6,000 feet. So this point within 30 miles. This is uh, top of Gap Road. Just uh, done about four or five miles on the gravel and uh, looking out over the India Peaks here and uh, gotta say, pretty special. Not, uh, not too many roads like that in the world, I tell you. This is definitely one of my favorite rides here, my favorite training routes. Um, yeah, it's the classic yeah. around here for sure. Flagstaff, Grosdam, Gap, and then where are we heading now? Now we're gonna get on the Peak to Peak Highway, go towards the Netherlands, and then from there, I mean, you can just go straight down to Boulder, and then it's like a four hour ride, or you could go as far as you want and loop down some other way. So it's a good ride, so you, know, you do at least this part, and then you can make it whatever you want. After yeah, that. nice. Let's do it. Really become like a community hub of Netherlands in a lot of ways. 
like Tuesday nights in summer they have Taco Tuesday. So they're like singing tacos and like the whole town comes out, there's live music, kids and dogs run around everywhere. Like these potatoes are like so good, they ride. much needed sandwich stop at Salto's. Problem is, when Timmy said it was about four hours worth of climbing on this ride, he wasn't joking. So we've left Netherland, straight back uphill, and joined Sugarloaf Road, back on the dirt. Last stop of the day, top of Logan Mill. Look at the view. Rolling canyons, dirt, pavement. And uh, this is a Timmy treat, apparently. We could have just gone straight down, is it Sugarloaf? Yeah. Straight down, back to Boulder. No, 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 no. We have to take a sharp left. We have to do a few more rollers. And then we have to hit this driveway descent, like 25% on dirt, of course. Apparently it's pretty narrow. Pretty, is it twisty turny? Very turny, yeah. Twisty and turny, narrow, and it's like riding on marble, so uh, just what the doctor ordered. Check that out! Yeah! Better than taking the main road for sure. Back in Boulder, final stats for the ride, two and a half thousand meters, what's that, about 8,000 feet, something like that? Yeah, And we, uh, 60, 60 miles, so 100K. Stellar loop, I mean, <laughs> pavement, gravel, steep climbs, gnarly descents, local roads for these guys. Uh, you know, if you fancy coming out and doing it, then uh, Timmy organizes a ride, it's called the India Pe Indian Peaks Classic, beginning of September? Yeah, uh, this week. This year it was Labor Day weekend, uh, first weekend of September, and we'll either have that date or the week before. Next yeah. Year. So back end, uh, back end of the summer, bookmark it now. Get out and enjoy some of these uh, classic roads. Coal Collective fans. Thanks, man. There they are, they're showing their appreciation. And uh, yeah, pretty insane, really. You can get so much climbing in such a short route, and I was nervous. <laughs> I was nervous early on when we'd done 30 miles and we had 2,000 meters of climbing. I was thinking, <laughs> geez, this is going to be like, you know, serious Tour de France stage. But uh, thanks for joining, uh, joining the ride. Thanks for your time. And uh, you. I think if you ever need a, a bit of a dreary, wet and windy ride on a flat new forest, then oh, yeah. dial me up. I can certainly show you around at sea level as well. So uh, appreciate it. Thanks, thanks man. Thanks for your time. See you next time. Enjoy. Time.